Hi, I'm Rag and Bow Man, and these are my three favourite records today. This one is not very well known because um, people kind of know CeeLo for his more recent stuff, but um, CeeLo Green and his Imperfections is, I think it's his second album. I might be wrong. I'm pretty sure it's his second. It's, um, I know CeeLo from Goody Mob, and that's basically, you know, he, he was in those days like rapping a lot more. And um, I always rated him as one of my favorite rappers. Um, especially coming out of that whole Atlanta type scene, and um, and then I, did, I didn't actually know about this until years after. But um, I, I kind of I was record shopping and I found it, and it was really like a, a proper gem. Like I didn't expect it to be as good as it was. I thought because it, it, you know, it obviously never really travelled over here because I, did, I I would have heard about it otherwise. Because um, at the time I'd, I'd buy a lot of hip hop and buy a lot of R and B and stuff, um, and I think, being as it came out in like 2002, 2003, it's super ahead of its time in its production, and um, I, just, I, I really like his phrasing and the way he sings and uh, his, you know, his use of like how his accent. He's got that southern draw, but he can make words sound really different, whereas I can't really get away with that, but, um, you know, yeah, it's, it's, just, it's just his phrasing and his way of singing, and it, it's, it's so rhythmic, and, um, and, it, and it produced, like, amazingly by Organised Noise, who did, you know, a lot of amazing stuff coming out of that, that kind of era in Atlanta South, so, yeah. Redman is probably in my top five rappers of all time. Uh, he is like your favorite rapper's favorite rapper. Cause uh, I don't know, he, he just had this career that spans, you know, 25 years or more. But this album in particular uh, is kind of nostalgic for me. Cause I was a big fan of the Simpsons when I was a kid. And there's this kind of, you know, if you like the Simpsons, there's this a famous like fight scene between Homer and Dredrick Tatum, you know? And when, and when they're walking along, they've both got music. And when Dredgett Tatum's like walking along the corridor to fight Homer, it's uh, time for some action. It's like time for some time for some action. I just remember that, and 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 that's how I found out about Redman is through The Simpsons. So it's kind of a cool story, I guess. <laughs> the third final record is Southern Playlist at Cadillac Music by Outkast. Um, I want to say the greatest, but it's probably first or second in my favourite hip-hop albums of all time. Uh, I don't know if they knew when they were making this album that, like, how kind of ahead of its time it was, because I don't even know what year it is, actually. Uh, 1994, I was going to say 93, but 94 is, um, I don't know, a lot of the hip-hop coming out at that time was, it was all kind of based around that New York sound. It was either New York, it was kind of, you know, um, like Snoop Dogg, kind of that California kind of sound as well. And um, I remember my mate Ben Swan introducing me to like Southern hip hop and, and he was like, you know, you have to check out Outkast because I didn't know about it. And um, it was just like nothing I've ever heard before. And it's, it's like, you know, it's hip hop, but it's almost a genre of its own. Um, and the same producers as that CEDO record, Organized Noise, I think, Around that time, anything that they touched was just gold. And um, I think, uh, I don't know, just like the way Andre raps and, uh, and how melodic it is and stuff is like kind of it quite influenced my sound over the years for sure. Um, I'd like to hear another album by them, please.